Tonight, a groundbreaking new Alzheimer's drug is getting doctors and researchers around the country excited. The Food and Drug Administration approved a medication that targets the fundamental pathology of the disease. The CBS 58's Gabriela Becerra explains how the drug works and also who's eligible. It gives us all a ton of hope. Champions of Alzheimer's research are celebrating what some doctors call a breakthrough in the treatment of the irreversible progressive brain disorder. It can give them a better quality of life for a much longer period of time. The FDA approved a new drug called lecanemab or lecembi, which doctors say targets deposits of protein in the brain called amyloid. Buildup of amyloid is believed to contribute to the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. But what was impressive about this study is that it improved the amyloid levels in their brain, so it lowered those, improved their cognition, improved their function, improved their quality of life, all these things that we really care about, as well as the, the what the brain looks like. Dr. Yeah, Cynthia Carlson, professor of medicine at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, tells me the drug is primarily given to people with mild Alzheimer's intravenously every two weeks. Side effects can include increased risk of microbleeds and swelling in the brain. The results from the Clarity study showed pretty vigorous responses across all of these outcome measures, which we haven't seen for a therapy like this before. Carlson is leading a prevention study with Lakembi at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Using that exact same medicine, but in people who are um, don't have memory symptoms yet, but they have a special scan that shows that they do have amyloid buildup in their brain. So way before they get memory loss. Lakembi went through the accelerated approval pathway. The FDA says this happens for serious conditions where there is an unmet medical need and a drug is shown to have a clinical benefit for patients. Carlson says there are other drugs on the market, but this is the first in over 20 years to spark good cause for hope. We're in a really a new era of treating Alzheimer's. Reporting in Milwaukee, Gabriela Becerra, CBS 58 News. Exciting development.